question is from Erica in Texas. Thoughts about the barbell hip thrust? Does it have any benefit besides the aesthetic or of a larger butt? Do, I mean, uh, Sal's a big hip thrust guy these days. Yeah, you're, you're one of them hip thrusters. Yeah, huh? uh, I'm looking forward to the Instagram post. Yeah, I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't say I'm a big hip thrust guy. Oh, you're Does big, it help the way you walk now? Yeah. Big hip thrust guy. Yeah, no, yeah. I've been I've been um, I've been incorporating it into my routine um, differently than I ever have before. In the past, I've primarily used it for correctional purposes. For clients, I have used it for uh, people who want to build a bigger butt or, again, for correctional uh, exercise purposes. But I've never really programmed it like in a, in a full-on workout, and I've never programmed it the same way I would program squats or a deadlift by adding weight to it and getting stronger at it. But I've been doing it. It's now, I'd, probably, I'd say, probably week five or six. And what I notice is um, what you would expect to notice from getting stronger in that, that top portion of the hip extension, which is I'm strong with my deadlifts. I'm stronger with my my squats. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel more stable. I think it's just it's a great hip movement. I really do. Those I don't. Glutes are just more engaged, right? Yeah, I, I appreciate you noticing that. Um, yeah, I, I, <laughs> yeah. I, I do. It is funny getting a really crazy butt. I'm an oogler. It's it's crazy getting a glute pump and walking around the gym though. It's funny. <laughs> it's a weird feeling. Is that true? Is yeah. it all like bubbly? Yeah, everybody? you walk around. You're like, what the hell? Boing, boing, boing. Yeah. <laughs> but but you know, I wouldn't put it up there with a squat or a deadlift. I think people, especially today, there's this, this talk about th hip thrust being like this crazy foundational movement. No, I don't see it. I don't see it that way. Well, we got. I, we I got, think it's good though. We got Brett Contreras coming in. I think yeah. in a week or two. So mm, he'll argue we, that for sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, he did all kinds of research and study around it, and I remember. Remember, there was a lot of uh, debate around uh, the carryover from that into like sprinters and other uh, other aspects of training. I mean, I think it's a, I think it's awesome. I think it's a, a great exercise. It is. Um, I I think there's there is some people that are trying to make a case for it that it is king and that it's better than um, squatting or deadlifting. I 100% I disagree with that. Um, just because when you talk about things that are the most that in fact that was a debate I had some in our forum like a year or two ago about this because I said this statement that I did not think that the hip thrust was more functional than a squat and a deadlift and some kid wanted to argue that it was and uh, my statement back to him was when will you ever find yourself lying on the floor with a yeah. bar across your waist and you have to thrust it up you get a 300 pound body up you yeah know what I mean? yeah well a refrigerator yeah. falls on you that's I don't about, know what you do on the weekend that's the but... only time i could think that that is <laughs> or maybe if you're in jujitsu and you got to hip thrust somebody off of you but for about 99 percent of the population it's not more functional than a squat or a deadlift you will in your lifetime 100 percent squat down and pick a child up or pick something out. Yeah, it's such a small range of motion. It, it, it feels a lot to me. And I know it probably has a little more benefits uh, in terms of what they studied than like, uh, you know, the leg press. But to me, it's very similar. It, I mean, the, the range of motion anyways, in terms of the functionality of it. Um, but yeah, I know it's great. It's And I think mainly because it, it's highlighting one of the most important muscles in the body, which is the glutes. Right. I mean, the glutes is so central to all movement and in all uh you know power output it's it's all it's all starts there so i think that's why it's such a uh, you know an effective uh way to way to like really isolate that i will say this if your goal is to build your butt 100 percent should be incorporated yeah i mean for if, sure if you're if your primary goal uh, you're a girl i mean if you're a guy too but i mean most of my clients that asked for this were mostly my female clients and you want to build your butt uh, hip thrust should be a staple movement. Yeah, I, I would I would say if I were to list the top ten or fifteen exercises of, of all time, it would be um it would be up there. I definitely think it belongs in most people's routines at some point. Um, you know, in the rotation, I don't think again, I don't think it's as functional, foundational as a squat or a deadlift, but it's definitely up there. Um, and it definitely does provide some some carryover value. You know, it's funny. Well, strongmen used to do perform uh, feats of strength, and one of the feats of strength that they would perform that was quite common back in those days was a, a hip bridge, which is kind of like a like a, a glute bridge or a, a hip thrust. What they would do is they would support themselves though with their hands, so they weren't on a bench. So they were hands behind them, legs on the floor, and then they would support tremendous amounts of weight. And so there were strongmen who would do thousands of pounds while bridging up into this position. Is and, that true? Yeah, and the reason why... I've never seen that. Yeah, and you could look it up. Yeah, you'd be able was to... Was that it. where they'd have, like, benches of people just on top of them? Yeah, yeah or an I've elephant. Yeah. They'd have, like, a they'd have like a big plank on them, and an elephant would stand on it. And the, Wow, the I've never head. seen that before. Yeah. And the reason why it was a, a popular feat of strength was because 
you can get really strong in yeah. that position. And so it's a great way to impress your audience with the amount of weight that you can support. That's or right, hold. boys. Nothing impressed chicks more than hip thrusting 500 pounds yeah. in the gym and your spandex tights. Well, that's the other thing, too. Like, oh, yeah. it's, it's also become one of those exercises where people are bragging about how much they can lift. I mean, whatever. I mean, it's cool. I guess you can lift a lot of weight, but, you know. It's uh, not cool. Yeah, I mean, it's, I don't know if it's necessarily an exercise you want to brag on. It is one that you can get strong in really quick. I went from, you know, practicing it with a with 135 to 500 pounds very quickly um, with that lift. Just right away, I felt. And that that strength increase definitely gave me a carryover to my deadlift. Didn't make, it didn't make me deadlift tons of more weight. It just made me feel more stable in my deadlift, especially at the in the bottom <clears throat> position. Um, and you know, again, in terms of aesthetics, uh, you're talking about one of the biggest, most, uh, I guess, foundational muscles of your body, which is the glutes. If you look at primates, for example, um, look at all primates besides humans, they all have really small, weak glutes. Humans have in, in comparison have these really big muscles and it's because we stand upright. It's one of the muscles that helps us with locomotion. It keeps us upright. It's very important. And a lot of our everyday motion gives it gives us speed and stability. In athletes, the hip muscles and the glute muscles are imperative almost on almost any sport that I can think of. So, giving yourself a stronger butt uh, definitely has a lot of function and value. It, it just does. And hip thrust is one of the better exercises to do that.